We are water. It creates us. It sustains us. It flows through all of us. In the Western world, it is a constant, an afterthought, a recreation. However, in the developing world, clean water is a goal, an objective that must be achieved every day. Cambodia, one of the poorest countries in the world, sees one out of every seven children die before the age of five, largely due to lack of access to clean water. The Trailblazer Foundation is leading the way in achieving sustainable water solutions for those in the developing world. We have the project 2005 and uh, up to now we produce um, 1,228 water filter. And now we have in stock in the main uh, 187 and then the other, the rest of uh, 1,040 are the filter that we already delivered to uh, the site. The villager could has access to have the safe drinking water and they have a different source of water according to the situation in the area. We do not just uh, offer them the filter, but we want them to contribute the little part of the money. Yes, um, like uh, $2.65 that they need to contribute to the filter. But this money not uh, return to Trailblazer, it just uh, come to the village fund. Trailblazers empowers rural villagers to create self-sustaining programs such as biosand filters by providing not only the filters, but the necessary training as well. Biosand filtration systems are easy to construct, install, and maintain. We go directly in the field and we check the filter and make sure that they use the water filter. Because uh, it's a, a bit uh, different from the habit for our rural villager. Uh, we're going to a village called Pung Chu, uh, which is northeast of Siem Reap. Uh, so we're on the main road now, the pavement. Uh, after that, after a few kilometers of this, we're going to go on the dirt road, it's a bit bumpier. But uh, it's just a village that we came in contact with through uh, another NGO in town. They have a volunteer project out there, so uh, we initially supplied the volunteer house uh, with a filter. And then it's popular enough that the teacher actually requested it, the teacher of the school. So uh, the NGO person filled it for them, so now we're going out there to set it up. What we're going to do is we're going to put our gravel and our sand in the filter. We have a couple different sizes of gravel. This goes down first, just five centimeter height of this gravel, five centimeter height of this gravel. And this just prevents our sand from getting into the piping at the bottom. The sand here is what's doing the filtering and it's a very fine sand, fine enough that it'll take, take out any particles and bacteria that are associated with the particles. There's a lot of organics and oxygen in this water that when we feed this water into the filter we'll get a nice um, a bio layer established in the top of the sand bed and that'll break down any uh, fecal bacteria that are coming into the filter. So we're here to just commission the filters and we'll be training the, the, uh, the schoolmaster and the, um, the janitor on maintaining the filter and teaching the kids on how to use the filter. Trailblazers provides training and filter maintenance to beneficiaries in order to uphold a sustainable program. Also, during we commissioned the filter for them, we also trained about the sanitation of the clean water and allow them to use proper and decide that we have the team that come to do the test of the um, water from the source of the water and after filtration from the water. For me, it's just been a, it's, it, it's been a lovely little project to work through a step at a time because while we've got you know, what I call um, first world solutions to just about everything, we have to apply it here to the available resources that we've got. So, so everything that we've done, um, I've tried to make sure that, that, that when I leave here, they can still carry on 
um, using locally available materials. And even though I've, I've introduced a, a construction chemical, it's available at a builder's, uh, a builder's yard here in CM Reap. So if it's locally available, it's appropriate technology as far as I'm concerned. So it's good to get freshly crushed sand from a quarry. And um, also if it's freshly crushed, it'll be angular sand and not rounded sand like beach sand. And angular sand can pack, pack a lot better and you get better, uh, smaller porosity in the sand with better filtration. So this is just a mosquito mesh, which is about a one millimeter opening. And so anything that passes through here is gonna be the sand that you wanna use in the filter. And it's small enough that when water is poured through the sand, it'll trap all the particles on the top of the sand. And that, so that's all the particles is like organic particles and um, bacteria like, like that. It's food for bacteria, right? So you get a lot of friendly bacteria living in the top of your sand. And um, so you'll also get a lot of biological degradation of organics, bacteria, and viruses that come into the filter. So it's, you have physical filtration through the sand, but you also have biological filtration. By utilizing cost-efficient technology, Developing and using local talent and skills, Trailblazers not only saves lives by providing clean water, they also enable self-employment and economic independence. It's been an astounding uh, three months. I, I got much more than I bargained for out of it, you know, and hopefully these guys here have got a little bit out of it as well. So, so I re I've been really quite pleased with it. We all share the need for water. Now more than ever, it is imperative to share the gift of water.